Hello and welcome to this week's See and Know. I hope that you've been having a great weekend, enjoying all of this beautiful sunshine um, and that you're all well and you're joining us maybe with mum or dad, maybe grandma or grandpa, maybe brothers and sisters. It's great that you're joining us this morning. As usual, we're going to start off by finding out who's here. Um, so if you want to say your name nice and loudly in the gap that we leave as we sing our welcome song. Are you ready? Let's sing. Where is, where is, did you come, did you come, come to see and know. Hello and welcome to see and know. It's great that you're joining us today for our story called I've Got the Power. And now just a reminder, the last few weeks we've been looking at Abraham and Moses and how God was rescuing his people. And it was all part of a bigger rescue plan that involved Jesus. Lots and lots and lots of years went by, Jesus came, Jesus died, and Jesus went back into heaven. And today is the next part of our story where Jesus has gone back into heaven. So we're gonna find out what happens in I've Got the Power, but we're gonna have to wait just a little while for that. Now, are you any good at waiting? Are you good at waiting, Flo? I find waiting really hard. Shall we see if we can wait for 30 seconds? Oof. <sighs> Don't know about you, Flo. Waiting's hard, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want to get on with the story already? Oh my goodness, Flo is very eager to get on with our story. So waiting can be really difficult, can't it? I don't want to wait for things, I like to have them now. But in our story today, I think we find out that Jesus' friends, the disciples, had to wait for something. So as usual, we'll, tell, uh, we'll practice our actions, then we'll tell the story through once, and then we'll tell it through a second time just to remind ourselves what happened. So are you ready for our actions? So the first one is looking up at the ceiling and waving bye-bye. It's very bright for me to look up out here. Okay, so we wave up goodbye, and then we're gonna fold our arms and huff and puff. And then we're gonna blow loudly uh, for as long as we can, so take a deep breath. And then... Oh. And then we're gonna have some little flames above our heads, so we wiggle our fingers above our heads. And then we're gonna punch the air, yes! Like that. Okay, so can you remember all those actions? So let's tell the story of I've got the power. So Jesus' friends had seen Jesus go back into heaven. Bye bye. Now they were waiting for something to happen. They waited and they waited. So let's fold our arms and huff and puff. Oh, such a long wait. And then the wind began to blow. So ready, deep breath. little flames appeared on their heads. It was very exciting. They knew that Jesus was giving them his power. Yes! And that's the story of I've Got the Power. Shall we tell it through again, just to remind ourselves what happened? So Jesus' friends had seen Jesus go back into heaven. Bye bye, Jesus. And now they were waiting for something to happen. They waited. Let's fold those arms. They waited. Huff and puff. And they waited. And then the wind began to blow. <gasps> Little flames appeared on their heads. It was very exciting. They knew that Jesus was giving them his power. Yes, that's fantastic. And that's what they did. God gave us part of him to live with us called the Holy Spirit. It's his power in us. It's like superheroes. It's like God's super to our natural. Um, and so we get to have God's power living within us. Isn't that incredible? Okay, so we're gonna have our prayer today first and then we're gonna finish off with the song. So we're gonna get our wiggly fingers. Uh, are you ready? We're gonna wiggle our fingers up to the sky or the ceiling. Wiggle our fingers down to the ground. Wiggle our fingers up to the sky or the ceiling. Wiggle our fingers down to the ground. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give a little clap. We open and shut them. Open and shut them, put them on your lap. We put one little hand over one little eye, the other little hand over the other little eye. Bow our little heads and say a little prayer. Talk to God. Dear God, we thank you for this beautiful sunshine and this beautiful weather that we get to enjoy. And we thank you that you have given us your Holy Spirit, your power to be part of our lives as well. That we can have your super to our natural. Help us to ask you and invite you into our lives. Amen. Okay, now before we get onto our song to finish, uh, just a few suggestions for crafts. Now, one of the things that the Holy Spirit uh, is recognized for is water. 
Um, and with all this beautiful uh, sunshine, why not do some water play? Just have some water play out in the garden or at home and maybe just enjoy having some fun with water because um, that's one of the signs for the Holy Spirit. And the other one is flame. So there's a couple of suggestions for painting crafts. So one, you can make some really wet paint and get a straw and blow it all over the place like wild flames. Um, and the other one is maybe you want to draw a picture of yourself or maybe get mum and dad to draw a picture of yourself and then do some handprint flames above your head, just like Jesus' friends, the disciples in the story where they had flames appearing above their heads. And with the, the blow one with the straw, you get to use wind as well, which is another sign for the Holy Spirit. So you get to combine two of those elements. So have fun and we'd love to see your crafts this week in our comments as well. So why not get mum or dad to show them to us as well? Um, but there's some really fun and uh, great ideas there. Now we're gonna finish off with a song. Uh, in the, the story, it said that there were little flames above our heads. And the song we're gonna finish off with is This Little Light of Mine, because we've got God's spirit, God's power living with us. And it's like, we've got a light to shine out to the rest of the world. So the actions are little light of mine, shine. And then we're gonna have everywhere I go. So you can do some marching on the spot. Okay, and then shine, and then hide it under a bucket, duck down, and then jump up, no, and then shine. Are you ready? Let's sing. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bucket. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bucket. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bucket. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Brilliant, well I hope you enjoyed that song and thank you for joining us for our See and Know this morning. We've got our uh, sing along on Friday as usual and then we've got our family all age worship, the one service on Sunday at nine o'clock. So we'll see you then, bye.